Thursday, the House passed two pieces of legislation, mostly along party lines, to expand background checks on all commercial gun sales. New York Republican Congressman Tom Reed voted against them. It goes after uh, law-abiding uh, gun owners. It goes after uh, family exchanges in a way uh, that uh, is too burdensome. One bill requires background checks for all gun sales. The other would close the Charleston loophole, which allows some licensed gun sales before a background check is finished. Reed says there are better options for reform. But this bill um, is not uh, going to move the ball, in my opinion, uh, on that issue. Reed expects these bills to fail in the Senate, but Democrats are confident they can swing some votes their way. No check, no sale. No check, no gun. Connecticut Senators Richard Blumenthal and Chris Murphy say the bills are necessary to protect Americans and children across the country. We should tighten our gun laws to make sure that criminals and people with histories of serious mental illness cannot buy guns. The last time gun control legislation made it this far, Senate Republicans blocked further action. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says that won't happen anymore. No more hopes and prayers, thoughts and prayers. A vote is what we need. A vote. Senate Democrats say they expect to see more bipartisan support when it hits the Senate floor. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.